Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Divine Elemental Tarot. I'm going to do a collective tarot reading for you guys today. Tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. Let's get started. I want to try to do a quick one for you guys today. God, Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, can I please get some messages for the collective for their highest and greatest good. I only ask for messages from you, God, you, Archangel Michael, and you, Holy Spirit, only. Thank you. So in God's position, we have the full Archangel Michael, the Emperor, and then the Page of Cups and Temperance in the Holy Spirit. Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Can I get three cards gone to clarify the full card? Some of you guys might be wanting a new beginning. Take a leap of faith. Put the star card, two more cards gone to clarify the full, please. Maybe going through a lot of healing right now with the star card and the temperance, the temperance card over here. Knight of Cups. Page of Wands. Let's see if anything else flipped over. Yes. Five of Pentacles. with the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Could be wanting a new beginning with someone you think is your peace, your wish fulfillment, because the Knight of Cups is facing the the Star card, and the Knight of Cups is like um, the Knight in shining armor, wanting to sweep someone off their feet, dating. And then the Page of Wands is um, a form of communication, excitement, full of energy, reaching out, good news. And this is facing the Five of Pentacles, which could refer to the being left out in the cold. So you're wanting to change this with the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Want to come in quick. Let's get three cards, Archangel Michael, to clarify the Emperor card, please, for the collective. Judgment. Let's move this over here. Judgment card. Four of Cups. One more card, please, Archangel Michael. Clarify the Emperor for the Collective. This energy is wanting to stick around. I've been reading on the same kind of energy for the past week. We got the High Priestess. King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Clarify the High Priestess, please, Archangel Michael. One card. Clarify the High Priestess.
Queen of Pentacles, spiritual, grounded, stable, feminine energy. You may be wanting to end something with the death card and the five of swords but at this point you're looking like you're not caring about what will happen or how other people will feel with the lover's card on the bottom can we get one card I was going to say to clarify the Four of Cups, and we got the Two of Pentacles. Trying to find balance, juggling, holding on to something with the Four of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Could be something you're keeping to yourself with the Moon. One card to clarify judgment, please, Archangel Michael. One card to clarify judgment, please. One card to clarify judgment, please, Archangel Michael. Nine of Swords, you're overthinking this a lot. Losing hope, regretting, remorseful. You could be feeling unhappy that you even have to make this choice. Three of Pentacles. You're learning a lot though, paying attention to detail. Knowing that something has to come to an end with this Ten of Swords to get your four of wands. Six of, uh, sorry. Six of cups on the bottom of the deck. Nostalgia, soulmate card, magician. It's something that you manifested that you're working towards with the knight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This up here. Can I get three cards to clarify the Page of Cups and Temperance, please, Holy Spirit? Three cards to clarify the Page of Cups and Temperance. You may be wanting to express your emotions to help clear the air. And it'll bring you some kind of peace and tranquility by doing that. You could be trying to balance out your childlike innocence too. Like you're being more playful, not so serious all the time. Two of Wands. Two more cards to clarify the Page of Cups and the Temperance card. Queen of Cups. One more card, please. The hangman, the hierophant on the bottom of the deck. It's the three of cups underneath the hierophant, the ace of wands, the queen of wands, and the eight of cups underneath that. Could be third party. Could be passion that is keeping you stuck. With this Queen of Wands. And the Ace of Wands. They're both very passionate energies. Then we also have the Queen of... Uh, excuse me. The Three of Cups with the Hierophant. So... You could be in a marriage or you're wanting to re reunite with someone 
and you're wanting to marry them. But you're having to walk away from someone first. You could be extremely spiritual because I saw the Hermit card. Or getting into your spirituality more with the High Priestess and the Star card. And the Temperance card. Can I get... Okay. I was going to clarify the hangman. I've got the two of swords. Needing to make a decisive decision. At a crossroads with the magician and the knight of pentacles. So the knight of pentacles and the hangman can symbolize being at a standstill, moving too slowly. You might want to get into your magician energy and take charge. Know that you have the willpower to do what you want to make this decision that you're needing to do. Because you have the Two of Swords and the Two of Wands, Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You've already planted seeds started to manifest certain things for a new beginning. Can I get one card to clarify the Two of Wands, please? Holy Spirit, one card to clarify the Two of Wands, please. Clouds look so pretty right now. There's like beams of sunshine coming out of it. I'm a dork. I love this guy. All right, we got the hermit for the two of wands. To clarify, the two of wands. So what I'm getting from this is this decision you're needing to make with this Two of Wands and this Two of Swords. You might want to go within. Look to it from a more spiritual point of view to help you make the decision. To help you end something with this Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be in a lot of, like, conflict and fighting with the person that you are involved with at the moment. Could be doing self-sabotaging behavior. This person might be manipula manipulating you into walking away, using aggression, intimidation. I get one card to clarify the Queen of Cups, please. Holy Spirit. That's a lot. I'm not going to take that. This one. Okay. Justice. The Justice fell over the Star and the Fool to clarify the Queen of Cups. So you may be needing to bring justice to this situation with this Queen of Cups energy. You need to be honest, speak your truth, stand your ground with the Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck. For your Ten of Cups underneath that. I don't usually get this with this card, but the Seven of Swords, maybe you're needing to find, um, like, um, a sneaky way, I guess, to communicate for this Ace of Pentacles and what you've already planted the seeds you've planted to help them come to fruition. This 
especially if you're feeling trapped or manipulated into staying with someone. Because you have the Five of Cups, the Heartbreak card, not feeling emotionally stable, which you wouldn't if you're being manipulated. It is a form of spell work, which people don't believe, but it is, sadly. All right, let's get one card to clarify the Knight of Cups, please, God, for the collective. One card to clarify the Knight of Cups, please. One card to clarify the Knight of Cups, please. Hard to clarify the Knight of Cups, please. No, that's going to be too many. <laughs> Just one, please, God. One card to clarify the Knight of Cups for the collective, please, God. The sun is coming out super bright right now. Maybe God's trying to tell you, embrace this Knight of Cups energy. Make the romantic gesture. Sweep that person off their feet. Oh, the sun card wanted to pop out. That's so epic. One card, please, God. Sun is divine masculine energy, so maybe... God's trying to tell you to embrace your divine masculine energy with this emperor card also. And stop being in that page energy. Okay. Yeah. Ace of Wands to clarify the Knight of Cups. You're needing to take the steps with the Three of Wands. On the bottom of the deck, you're needing to move forward. The uh, Seven of Pentacles wanted to pop out again. So it is definitely time for you to basically uh, reap what you've sown. The things that you've, the decision, the healing, the everything that you've made towards this star energy. It's time to see it come to life. I am getting this has been a long time coming, though. And maybe that's why God is calling judgment here. The Hierophant and the King of Pentacles to clarify the star card. Yeah, you might want to marry this star energy. Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You're afraid of heartbreak when it comes to closing out the cycle, but you're obsessing too much over it. You're going to have to embrace it to get your son. The wheel of karma is going to start turning in your favor once you do this. You need to ground yourself, educate yourself. Actually, let me get one card to clarify the Hierophant. Okay, that's two cards. Again, the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is what you want. This is what the Divine wants for you. With the Lover's card, Gemini energy on the bottom of the deck. Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups, the Empress, wow. Yeah, you're heartbroken about this Empress. Got divine counterparts with the Empress and Emperor. And the King and Queen of Pentacles here. The Hierophant and the High Priestess also. Very power couple vibes. 
I get from this reading. And the magician over here, we've seen the sun, seen the moon. There's a lot of divine counterpart connections in this reading. Any advice for the collective on what they should do? God, Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, any advice for the collective? I think I'm going to actually be able to give you guys a short reading. Jesus. That. That's the advice. The devil. <laughs> oh, I love how it perfectly landed right here, though. On the two of pentacles and the four of cups. So... You are needing to make a decision that you are overthinking and completely sad about and afraid to make. You have to start being flexible. This is becoming like... Um, how do I explain this? You doing this is making you feel powerless and probably angry and sad and moody. It's becoming like a, a bond that you don't need. Maybe try reaching out to someone. This is the teamwork card, but it's also my friendship card with the three of pentacles try to reach out to someone to come up with a plan or just to talk to let it out the tower is underneath that with the six of cups this is probably what you're afraid of but keep in mind the tower only comes to help clear the way you know it's basically to shake it up to release it whether it be trauma conflicts, clear the way for love, finances, doesn't matter. Any other advice for the collective to help them on their journey besides that they need to make a decision? That they need to release this pressure, this devil energy, the five of swords. The death card, the three of cups, and the tower. Yeah, you need to end this, um, this three of cups energy. 13 or 16 might be a significant number for you because those stood out to me. Six of cups. You could be holding on to something because of all the memories that you've had. with a certain person. You could be afraid that this person um, Hold on one second. I'm getting something that is not something I like. Um might not be for all of you but some of you you may be afraid that this person if you try to leave them they may cause harm to you or your person like make your life a living hell You need to release, though, and do the work spiritually to be able to let this go. It'll bring you your Ace of Pentacles and your new beginning with the Fool. Maybe you just need to jump in and be the Fool, you know? Even though you might be afraid of that, risk it. It might pay off for you. You might get the reunion that you're searching for in those happy times. 
it may be a lot of upheaval and you may hit a, you know, it may take a hit on your finances with the five of pentacles right under here, but you'll get, you'll get to where you're going, what you're needing. Let's cut the deck, see what we get. Yeah, as I say that, the ten of pentacles, absolutely. The divine will look out for you. God will look out for you. Make sure that you are set. Let's see. Um, what decision in this emperor divine masculine's heart and soul, what decision is it that they really want to make? Let's see if we can get something out of this. What decision does this divine masculine deep down in their heart and soul want to make if nothing was holding them back? Six of Pentacles. This could be wanting to give equal reciprocity. Could be needing to do with expressing emotions with the King of Cups. The King of Cups is not one for wanting to express emotions, but they feel deep emotions. It could be that. We got the Eight of Cups underneath that. So maybe wanting to speak freely about their emotions, about walking away and taking those steps, being in that King of Wands energy, about closing out a cycle. Here we got the Soulmate card again, when I split the deck. And then the Lover's card on the top of the deck. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. I hope you liked it. 27 minutes. Yay. A shorter reading. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Love you guys.